All right. We're going to multiply these, and we're just going to use FOIL method to multiply these. No, so, yeah, we, we can't take the brackets away because it's not addition or subtraction stuff. Uh, yeah, so when we're multiplying these, we're going to need those. So let's go ahead and look at the first set. I've got a negative, I'm sorry, a square root of 5 times the square root of 5. I'm going to write this out even though not everyone needs it. So I got square root of 5 times the square root of 5. And then I'm going to distribute that square root of 5 into the other term. So this is plus the square root of 5 times a 5i. And then I'm going to distribute this negative 5i times the square root of 5. So this would be minus 5i times the square root of 5. And then I've got negative 5i times 5i. So this would be minus 5i. <coughs> Dang it, I need more space. Negative 5i times that positive 5i. Now we can start combining these. So I got the square root of 5 times 5. Not everyone needs that step either. If I wanted to rearrange this next term, uh, it's just usually nice to have the square root on the end of that thing. Just so I know it's not the square root of 5 times 5i. So the 5i, some people would put that in the square root. No, that's not right. It didn't have a square root before. Then I've got this 5i times the square root of 5. That's minus. And then we had minus. I'm just going to rearrange these. 5 times 5 times i times i. Well, what we notice about this is that I've got an i square root of 5 and an i square root of 5, which makes these two middle terms like terms. And right here I've got a positive 5, and right here I've got a minus 5. So 5 minus 5 is 0, meaning that these two middle terms cancel out. Now, some of you guys noticed that from the beginning, is that these two terms right here are conjugates. So we could have just squared the first term and added the square of the second term. And we're going we're gonna to see that, right? So, and let's look at that real quick. So this would have been the same thing as the square root of 5 squared plus 5i squared. I, I'm sorry, the i actually goes away. All right. So this would have ended up being 5 plus 25, which is 30. So this is what we should expect the answer to be at the end of this thing. We should expect an answer of 30. Is everyone okay with how I got that? Square root of 5 squared is 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 plus 25, 30. All right. So this is what we should expect to get. Uh, what I have left over here is I got the square root of 5 times 5. That's a pair of 5s. So the square root of 5 times 5 is 5. Or it's the square root of 25, which is also 5. And then I had minus. Over here I had 5 times 5, which is also 25. And then I also had that i squared. So I've got 5 minus 25. i squared is going to become a negative 1. Which if I rearrange this would be 5 plus 25. And that is going to give us 30. Yes. Thank you for that. Yeah. That is correct. 30 plus... And yeah, we don't have any i's left over. So that would <coughs> technically be the full answer for this one.